so the question is given positive integers so we are given positive integers from 1 to n find out the number of ways of selecting k numbers from that list such that they add up to n and where k is from 1 to n so it means that we are given basically a list of numbers which is from 1 to n so let's take an example where n is let's say 6 so we have integers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and then we say that okay find out the number of ways of selecting k numbers let's say we choose k is equal to 2 and k should be between 1 to n inclusive of both of them such that they add to n okay so we have to find numbers select two numbers from them and find out how many of them are there such that they add to 6 so i can choose and 4 so 2 comma 4 is 6 5 1 so these are the numbers that add up to 6 and we cannot choose 3 2 times because it's we have to choose just once okay so it basically tells us that okay 2 comma 4 5 comma 1 are the numbers that add up to 1 so there are two ways okay similarly if k is equal to 3 so what happens does 3 number add to 6 so i can have something like 2 3 and 1 add up to 6 so this is the problem basically that we have to find out the number of ways of selecting k numbers from 1 to n they should be unique such that they add up to n so what should be done so if we see mathematically so what is happening here so we are basically given n numbers and we can choose k numbers out of it in nc k ways but out of these nck numbers i have to find out which of these numbers are adding up to n so we have nck choices and we have to find how many of them are adding up to n so our aim should be something like how will we find out k select k numbers from n numbers how many ways are there so this is a combinatorial problem and then have to put some constraint that okay is the sum coming out to be n okay so what can we do one thing that comes to our mind is again means when we have to try all the possible combinations so we have to use recursion and what happens in recursion so basically at each place we once choose it another time we don't choose it and we choose numbers till the sum is k till we have chosen k numbers we cannot choose more than that so one restriction is we have to choose just k numbers and then they should add up to n okay these are the only choices that we will count so what we will do so the things that we need is that we have to check if the numbers that we have chosen become n then we have to decide okay which numbers i'm choosing and have i come to the end of the list itself i or am i left with some of my choices but the sum itself i have exceeded so these are some of the base cases the base condition and then we have to recursively choose so which means once i will choose some number then i can leave that number so basically we come up with this code void some kn so k is the number of choice number that we can select 
n is the total number so we have so and we have n so let's see so n is now in our case a global so it's a global variable so if let's say i have n is equal to 6 and k is equal to 3 so something i will call the function sum and here basically so this k is in fact r so that is the number of choices here so this is the number of choice and this k is basically telling that we are starting from k is equal to 1 the first index so i will call with 1 n is 6 so i will call with 6 and this because we are, have to select three numbers so i will write r is equal to 3 so this is how i will call and now let's see i have written a lot of base cases which could have been combined but which i have not done so that it becomes much clearer what i am doing so what let's first see the these two lines okay and then we will come to the base case so i am calling some kn and what i am doing here is i am starting from first index and then i am going to the second index third index but here what this is i am choosing so this is basically okay not choosing so this is i am not choosing the kth number so not choosing k basically i am not choosing the first index and here index and the number are same so not choosing k and here i am choosing okay choosing k so what happens is here i am ch not choosing that kth number so i am incrementing going to the next number but again and n is what is am, am i have i got the sum till now if i have got the sum here because i have not chosen anything so n will remain the same i have not taken anything and r is the because i have not selected so i have choice is also the same i can select as many as i was here in this function but if i select the kth element so i will go to the k plus 1th element but now the sum that i have to make will be n minus k and the number of choices that are left is r minus 1 so this is the two most important recursive function cause that we have to understand that when i'm not choosing then i'm having the same sum that i have to make and i have also because i have not chosen so i have same number of choices still left but if i have chosen the sum now becomes reduced by k so it is n minus k and r minus 1 because i'm already chosen one so r minus 1 choices are left and now coming to base cases so if what happens is i have six choices and this example but let's say that and this is the sum also so if i'm choosing numbers i have i'm given let's say five numbers to choose from and find out that is it summing to six so after some time what will happen even though we have choices left but now the sum will be decreasing and it will become less than zero that is not correct so that we should just return back when the sum becomes less than zero and if sum is zero but r is not equal to zero that means we let's say we had five choices but in three choices itself i have come up with the sum six but then also as all the numbers are positive and i have still to choose so this is the false case so i will return back if k is equal to n capital n here uppercase n and n is not equal to zero so what does this mean it means that i have come to the end of i have exhausted all my choices but still i have not got all the sum then also i will reach so they are in fact the opposites of each other this one and this one so finally when will i get the sum if n is equal to zero i have got the sum and r is equal to zero which means in the possible number of choices then i do count plus plus and return that okay this is the case where i am finding such sum okay and again if r is less than equal to zero what happens if my choices are exhausted i will return back 
so this is about some like we are given numbers from 1 to n and how many ways are there to select k numbers where k is between 1 to n inclusive so that it sums up to n so 